All systems operational. All systems operational here with Captain Robots. I'm taking you guys on a tutorial of how to pilot your ship using a mouse and keyboard. Um, it's pretty simple. Once you get in your ship, you need to launch. And to launch, we can either hold down W to move forward or spacebar to move up. Uh, I recommend uh, spacebar just in case. Um, once you push down the button, just hold it launch for a second. Complete. And you should launch up in the air. If we hold down the W, Seven. we'll continue moving forward. Proximity. Now let's go over some of the controls here, real quick. The mouse changes our direction. The further we move from the center of the screen, the faster we turn. Um, that's the circle with the dot. The center cross here is the direction our ship is facing, and the, cir the circular green thing is the direction our ship is moving. And as we turn, it, it tend, uh, going at a slower speed, it tends to stay in the middle. Um, the other buttons that we have access to are uh, panning left and right, so A goes pans to the left, D pans to the right, and you can see the green circle move in those directions. But then our ship continues back on a velocity moving forward since we're at full throttle. Space moves up, left control moves down. So you can shift up and down. W increases throttle and S Scanning. decreases throttle Scanning. so that we can come to a stop. You'll notice that we're now we're not moving anywhere. As soon as we Scanning. hit forward, our, our movement continues. Over here is our total velocity in the direction we're moving, and right here is our amount of throttle. So if I'm at 100% throttle, then I'm at full velocity from landing mode, which is 50. If I'm at 50%, we'll go down here, 50%, I'm at 25. So that's the basis of moving around. Um, then there's different modes of flight. If you hit N, you move out of landing mode, and now we're in SCM mode, which is our general skirmishing mode. It's the mode that we'll use to battle and kind of maneuver as we get closer to objects. Um, notice that our trajectory, if you look at the green, it takes a little while longer to get back to where we're going. It's because we're moving very quickly in one direction and it takes a while for, for our velocity to center again in, in one direction. Um, the other thing we can do is go into cruise mode to really move a far distance by hitting V. And that increases our speed a lot, uh, but our maneuverability is really low. So if you need to get out of a situation real fast, or you need to travel to something fairly close by, but uh, that doesn't need a jump, then you can do that. Um, if you need to jump somewhere, you can hit the B button, and it pulls up the jump locations, the places that we know nearby that we can jump to. So if we pan over here to Cry Astro Services, Scanning. all we have to do is focus on that location, and then hit the F button and that'll jump us to that location. I'm not going to do that yet. We hit B again to disengage that. I'm going to hit V to slow back down to, to SCM mode from cruise mode in order to show some other stuff. Right now we are coupled. The C button uncouples and couples the ship. Coupling means that it we either the, either the ship centers around the new direction, we won't go towards the planet, and you'll notice that the green circle comes down here, or if we hit C again, it, we are now uncoupled, which means if we turn, it no longer centers around a new direction. In this case, we can actually pivot all the way around, and we can see the direction we're coming from. This is useful in fights when you want to shoot somebody who's pursuing you, or, you know, dogfight maneuvers and those kinds of things. Um, if we hit C again, we'll go over here, we'll hit C again, you notice we're moving sideways. All of a sudden, our thrusters will center around this new direction, and our velocity changes. Uh, a vector changes, actually. G safe and comms tab are the two other options. Can alt, alt V cycles through those. G safe on means that it's a lot harder for you to pass out from G forces. G safe off means it's easier for you to pass out from G forces, but your ship can be a little bit more maneuverable. Comms tab on, and I'm just cycling through these by holding alt V, uh, means that your ship is going to fly more like a plane and it's going to tend to stay more in line with the direction, uh, the, the momentum of the, of the uh, outside comm link range. The, the momentum of your ship is going to continue more in the direction. You're going to drift less as you fly around, which is good for maneuvering around objects. Um, and we can cycle through that on and off. We can have uh, G safe off, comm stab on. We can have G safe on, comm stab off. We can do both off. We can do both on. The standard uh, situation is G-safe on, comms tab off. The other thing we can do is we can pivot left and right, and that's Q and E. And these help us 
maneuver around. For example, if we're panning around here and we want to pivot to chase something and put something in front of us, or we want to flip over to focus on being a specific angle to another ship, we can use that. So that's it for our piloting your ship with a mouse and keyboard. Please check back for more tutorials on things like landing, uh, fighting, uh, launching your ship, all sorts of other stuff. Um, if you have any questions, you can just look through the different tutorials. We also have a beginner tutorial that kind of goes over some of this stuff and some other things all in one longer tutorial. You're welcome to check that as well. And if you're interested, we have a company we've started for uh, new pilots um, to join us on our Twitch streams and uh, maybe we'll talk about some of our ex escapades on our show, uh, Robots Star Radio, which will be launching soon. So you're welcome to shoot me a request. It's D the Dire Solutions League uh, company, and you'll see links down in the show notes, or down in the show notes, down in the, you'll see links down in the notes underneath the video. And then if you haven't signed up yet, you can use my code down there on the bottom of the screen to get 5,000 credits. So check that out. Uh, we'll also have a video on how to make some more money in the 2.5 version of the game. Um, other than that, that's it. I hope to see you guys later. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.